Hello, my name is Gilma Solens. I'm a PhD student at the Federal University of Paraíba, Brazil. And today I'm going to tell you how an antibiotic, tetracycline, affects the gluten microbiota of Africanized honeybee. Antibiotics like tetracycline are widely used in agricultural animal, animals for therapeutic and prophylactic purposes. These antibiotics may then be released into soil or water where all the organisms are exposed to them, like honeybees, when they are foraging into the environment. Antibiotics can have a direct or an indirect effect on the bee health through shifts on the good microbiota, which play a key role in bee digestive process or immune defense and stress response. My project investigates how honeybees good microbiota responds to tetracycline exposure. I collected 1,000 Africanized honeybees from outdoor hives and placed them into controlled temperature chamber. The bees were divided in two groups. The control group was fed daily with 10 grams of a sugar syrup and 10 grams of a solid artificial protein diet. The tetracycline group was fed identically, but with the addition of 0.045% of tetracycline hydrochloric added to both types of food. Then we collected 100 bees from each group on the day 0, 3, 6, and 9. Then the abdominal contents of these bees were removed and pulled for DNA extraction. We use a sequencing as DNA sequence to amplify all bacterial DNA on the group of these bees. And then we analyze it, the microbial composition community and look at for changes in microbial composition and diversity between the groups. Finally, we got to the group. We use a channel and PLOs index to measure microbial diversity. The channel index measures both microbial community richness, which means how many different species we can find in a sample and abundances. The ELOS index reflects the evenness of the distribution of each species of bacteria in a sample. Then uh, tetracycline has no significant effect on the big good microbial diversity over time. And then to examine microbial composition, we use the Jacquard index, which identified clear difference in bee good microbiota by treatment and by time. Moreover, changes in microbial composition increased over time. In the tetracycline treatment group, we observed changes in relative abundance of several uh, microbes, including the genus, decreases in the genus. Bombella, Gilamella, and Ismodgracilla. As Bombella is associated with nutrient metabolism, and Gilamella and Ismodgracilla play an important role in pathogen defense, decreases on these microbes in bees exposed to tetracycline suggested disturbance in the good microbiota that could affect digestive and immune function. So understanding how chemicals like antibiotics affect bees is important because bees play a critical role in ecosystem health. Thank you.